Our cancer is increasingly claiming the lives of younger and younger people. Globally, from 1990 to 2019, early onset cancers defined as those in people under the age of 50 increased by about 79%. That's according to a recent study. Kate Fisher reports on the dramatic rise in cases and the scientific breakthroughs for what was once considered a disease of the old. <laughs> 31-year-old Kelly Spill Benito never dared to dream she might have this healthy family of four. She was diagnosed with cancer just months after giving birth to her son, Jace. I was told that I had stage 3 colorectal cancer, 28 years old, and um, I was then told that I most likely will never be able to carry a baby again. Cancer, I feel like, is death. And then I looked at my son and I thought, I need to be here for you. He was eight months old at the time. But then she was offered a clinical trial for a drug which could activate her immune system to fight the cancer without the need for surgery, chemotherapy or radiation. By my ninth treatment, I was told that it had completely disappeared. And a year ago, against all the odds, baby Maya was born. I didn't want to let her go, like ever. I could cry right now just thinking about it. And it didn't only change like, my life, it impacted my husband's life, but my son. So going on this clinical trial, I mean, it's completely changed all of our lives. But in the US, none of this comes cheap. Push. Cancer patients pay $16 billion out of pocket annually for cancer treatment, according to the American Medical Association. As a clinical trial participant, Kelly was lucky that her costs were covered. She was treated at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center in New York, the first hospital in the US to open a center specifically for young onset colorectal cancer patients. We're asking about risk factors, exposures, diet changes, antibiotic use, um, other things that we were thinking about that have changed throughout this time. I think in the end, it's probably not going to be one thing because I think we would have figured it out by now. Um, and it's probably a combination of, of, of factors together. But an increasing number of young people don't make it. Early onset cancer deaths increased by 27.7% between 1990 and 2019, according to a recent study published in the BMJ Oncology. Facilities like this one are just getting busier and busier as the number of cancer cases increases. There were 20 million cases diagnosed worldwide in 2022, and the World Health Organization says that number could rise by 77% to 35 million by the year 2050. Every type of cancer there is. Director of Medical Oncology, Dr. Ben Levy, specializes in lung cancer. My guess is in the next five to 10 years, maybe 10, you will be able to go to your primary care physician and they could do a blood test that's reliable to tell you, you know, if you have cancer that hasn't been seen or what your risk of cancer is in the next five to 10 years. You couple that with something like artificial intelligence, uh, where you're able to do a blood test or even a scan, adding in the layers of artificial intelligence and maybe it becomes more accurate. I think it likes you. For Kelly, that therapy not only saved her life, but gave her a future. Oh, Maya's really trying to look. Giving her time to enjoy her longed for family and to make plans to expand it further. Wow. Kate Fisher, CNA, Washington.